Okay, next scenario. Gathering the Legion. Crack Hack must find all the pieces of Legion and return them to Town of Hartford. Win the scenario. However, if Crack Hack is defeated in combat, the scenario is lost. Level limit. Uh, level cap 30. So now we're seeing a return of the heroes from previous missions. Uh, I'll take the gloves by the full speed. On my way to visit some relatives in Arathia, I came across a village that had its sacred artifact, the Head of Legion, stolen. The mayor wants the head back, as well as the other pieces of Legion, if I can find them. This is just what I need to lift my spirits. Some fun. I was wondering earlier what what the hell do you get if you get all the pieces of the Legion? I guess we're we're going to find out. The days and weeks searching for Sandro after his betrayal have proven fruitless. No one seems to have seen the wizard you described. Some recognize the name from somewhere but just shrug when asked who and where he might be. Giving up for now, you decide to visit relatives who have moved from Kulad into Arathia. While you pass through a town called Hartford, its mayor, a portly balding man called Timis, accosts you at the inn you're saying in. Please help us, sir. Crack hack, if I may call you that. A matter of grave import has befallen us. A knight named Tyrannel has stolen our town artifact, the head of Legion, from us. The only reason Hartford is on the map is because of this artifact, so it's important we get it back. Also, it's rumored that the other pieces of the Legion artifact are around. Perhaps you could find those for us too. Once the full artifact is assembled, Hartford would truly become a fabulous city. We can't offer you much reward, but you would be celebrated as a true hero and always welcome here. Always be welcome here, I assume. As Timis is speaking, you can't help but think of once again having to find artifacts for someone. Perhaps Sandro has his hands in this somehow. They probably would have helped him anyway, but now they they couldn't hold you back a dozen horses. Uh, I remember this guy. I don't recall him having expert first aid, so or estate, so. Definitely our old friends, but mm, temporary boosts from the campaigns don't transfer, spells don't transfer, so these are not my heroes. It sort of gave the false impression that the heroes may be the same that you play, you play later on. This clearly is not the case. These guys have nothing to do with that. They just share the name. Which is disappoint disappointing to say the least. Although I can't say how the game is doing this. I mean, what it might have some connection to the earlier games. I can't say it doesn't have, it just seems certainly that it doesn't have. Okay, medium map. Go for additional troops if we can. To so start out on your quest to find the Solon Head and other pieces of Legion, the scout rides up and tells you there are two other night factions in the region. Both are looking and neither is hospitable to outsiders. So we have competition here. Alice got the knights. One of my favorite heroes. Specialty archers, basic archery, basic leadership at the start. This is a very good range weapon user, right? Right from the start.
I think we need at least one additional hero. I'll take the demoniac. She produces extra income each day, so it's better than a death knight. Lots of dendroid cards. We don't have the. What do we have? We don't really have anything. Can't fight against opponents like these. Not yet. Dendroid cards. Maybe doable? A little bit more attack power would be welcome, but. I'll, I'll give it a shot. We can cast weak spells, so it might help make a difference. We need to kill stacks. As long as they have so many stacks available, there's not enough room for us to maneuver around them. You can cast 14 times. Go in and take some damage. Can't be helped. Oh crap. No escape for us now. Waited a bit too long. Well, archers are the only ones who are going to pay for that, though. There's no escape for us, so... Cause as much damage as we can. Get the hobgoblins free. They're fast enough to keep their distance. And we need the full casting amount on the spells, otherwise, I don't think we can make it. Gosh. Three stacks left though, so uh, yeah, this is a problem. If he gets those small boosts, we're not gonna be able to win this.
You can cast five times. Once. Yeah, I actually just need to cast four times, and uh, everything is doable after that. So, and I can cast five times. So, as long as they don't get moral boosts, we're fine. The trick is to try to get the stacks to something like 1 or 2 units, then the goblins on themselves can handle things. Uh, but I don't think we can really escape them. Ah, crap. And we're stuck. Yeah, not quite enough. Not good enough. No. Well, it wasn't exactly like I didn't see that coming. I should have gotten better use out of my of our archers. Need a little bit of reinforcement some, from some place. Ooh, they should do it. Oh, lots of swordsmen. These are swordsmen barracks. It's a tough fight, but. Yeah, it's not exactly any better. Ah, shit. Mm, it's not, not any better in any way. Well, they can't tie us down, but on the other hand, they're faster. I think they have less hit points, do less damage, so it's. It should be an easier fight in many sense. Uh, I still don't know if it's if that's good enough. And I should have focused on killing stacks, that's the important thing. Ah shit. We did 130 points of damage. That is not enough to kill a full stack, it's enough to kill a wounded stack. Well, at least this is a victory. And we're getting quite a lot of swords from our place, so... Our situation actually improved quite a bit. Oh, the Pegasi. 
Still, we are lacking troops. We can't get any troops from this place, but we might be able to. Yep, Ballista. We should do the trick. Crack hack. Expert Ballista. Basic estates, give me money. Uh, swarm of peasants. That's not a lot. It's a lot, but they're peasants. Each point of damage kills a peasant. Quest. For 8,000 gold, you gain access to something. Sure. So, what did we pay for? We, since we can't exactly get troops out of this, might as well spend the money on something else. Uh, proper attack spells, blind, okay, now things are looking much, much better. Okay, we're going with the ice bolts. Yeah, I didn't look how many of them are up there were here. I was expecting like something like 50 at most. And yeah, there's like what, 200 of them? I guess we could blind them. The problem is it doesn't really solve anything. We do need to still kill at least in one of them, so... This is looking bad. They're getting two turns in a row with, against some of us. Um, I think I should Hey, star swordsman, please, if I can. Exactly what I would do. Mm, I can cast two spells. So, not too bad. We needed to secure unit production, and in this on the on two hundred, yeah, on this map it seems to mean gain access to these buildings that produce them free each week. We need to visit training grounds too. What can we do? Um, all the royal griffins. Nothing. 
something here. No, there's something there. Mercury. Take the archers, take as many of those as you can, and go and buy the ballista. Yeah, we need... We, I, I don't think we can kill a horde of royal griffins. But we have to try, because those griffins are a key to moving things forward. We need the troops. We need access to those troops is the key to victory here. So we could go after training ground, I suppose. We could get peasants. A horde of royal griffins is a top opponent though. They're so fast and we don't have a lot of healing power, so for the moment I think we're going for the cavalry. Crap. Excellent. He uh, protect archers. That's the main goal. You think he can access them? Yeah. Bad at all. Please don't hurt us. We'll do as you want. We promise. So that's about closer to 400 peasants. We can get the Griffin Towers next week. Yes. Really no point in trying to buy anything else. Scouts report rumors that Tyrannil, the knight who sold the head of Legion, is hiding out somewhere on an island to the southwest. As for other as for the other pieces, there is not much to go on other than they might be underground somewhere in the area. The inhabitants of Hartford are building up their town to help you. Arthur's Tower. That is quite nice, so I can't build upgrade it, but over time the town gets upgraded on its own. Mm. And we need to split up a bit to gather up all the troops. Peasants are basically worthless though. You can have thousands of them and they're worthless. They're good for one thing only and if that's if you want the massive part of skeletons. Mm, we're going to have to attack north. Money isn't a huge problem at the moment, so we'll have to do something else. We'll also attack the Pegasi, because that provides us with a more powerful spell class. And I think we might not even have to fight against those.
Well, a good hero makes them... Uh, peasants would be one of those units that if you can get the plus hit points items and have a good attack defense hero, they're a competent hero. I they're, they're... Without any competition, the worst unit in the game. Everything's better, much better. Even the shittiest units any city can build, it's far superior to those. That's just how it is. So... They just happened to have a group of silver pegasi right where our archer was and get a moral boost. <sighs> I... I don't think the peasants are bad when attacking, they just can't take damage. Yeah, 133 died. And they can't take hits at all. Well, this warrant wasn't the worst fight we had, but a lot of archers died because we got a bit unlucky. Well, we're immune to berserk spells. You know the spell that the computer never uses? That's what we're immune to. It is a great thing. We need to kill the horde of Quirkins. It's a must. line called kill might as well go for our defensive formation won't prevent them from attacking but oh, yeah now let's destroy the peasants Why are the peasants are there to die for me? Okay, this is very good. Very, very good. Significant boost to our army strength. Now we can go after the money. Alright, lots of champions, no, definitely the money. Silver pick aside. Android guards would be easier in my opinion. We can't prevent the silver pick aside from attacking and that's uh, quite a lot of attacking they'll be doing. At the moment at least, it, it doesn't make sense to attack. Then this shield would be very welcome. Yeah, we're right here. Can I upgrade anything? Yeah. No. I guess I could do the marketplace. Uh, 
Okay. A horde of grandiels. Uh, I'd rather fight against the android cards now. Horde of grandiels. Ah, uh, shit. Let's attack the grandiels. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. or archers will come out of this line. Probably lose a quite a bit of someone else to Why are you getting the more bonuses? I think I have something like full leadership and I'm not getting shit. The leaderless guys are getting more of those constantly, so I feel like I'm getting no, my morale is shit. This is pretty much a, a clear indication that these are not my heroes. Combat hero with no leadership. That's a. Uh, that's just bad. Uh, I think we'll take the armies from next week and then try to break through somewhere. Lots of champions, it's a tough one, but we'll go against the Archangel because the people fort is there. I'd like the extra money, uh, I don't think it will make much of a difference though. So we're not in a hurry to get it. Might, might as well wait a week to get it. We do have an enemy here, so we can't just keep waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And I think the money they'll supply will be enough to buy everything we need. Yeah. You have expert wisdom. Expert goddamn wisdom. More spells. Crap, crap. Mega crap. Wonderful. Upgraded Griffin Tower. Yes! That's a proper upgrade right there. We're gonna get good units to fight against the Archangels. It'll make a real difference. But yeah, two weeks basically wasted at this point, so. We definitely need to get going. Access to Hill Fort is a must. Okay, we need to pull up the resources at the city. We can at least upgrade some of our troops.
Yeah, 42 royal griffins. That's a that's a nice army already. Yep. Well, I don't think we visited here. I'll take care of the dendroid soldiers and go against the arching gold. Mmm, crap. Uh, change of plans. I, I need to refill my magic before I go against the archangel to all the dendroid soldiers. Pretty much it. We have to be a bit careful here because this army, if we lose this one, it will take another three weeks to get another good army going, and we can simply can't afford that. What's with the morale bonuses on the neutral ones? It's not like it's some kind of rare web event, we're simply suffering from it constantly. Ah, uh, crap. Should I attack or what? Go with the left. So we lost a griffin. Anything else? Enough. Someone else can pick those up. Uh, civil arch. The fighting shall stop. No one shall pass. Holy shit. Well, this is gonna get ugly. Where we can't even kill a single one of them. So, I'll try to disable these groups of twos. Is there any large group there? There it is. Uh, I think we have a good chance of killing it. No, not even close. And you're so fucking close. No! Why are you so slow? Okay, it wasn't too bad. Whoops. Well, significant casualties, but we will head for the hill fort immediately. Lots of enchanters on our way. We will 
Lord Chasen, or the Major, yeah, just come on through. Well, I didn't want those creepings anyway, apparently. It has to be slow, man. Nah, slow. Our griffins, but otherwise, we still have troops, and we can do the upgrades. Inhabitants of Hartford are building up their town. All right. Help quite a bit. Where the hell am I going? So, the army sizes here are quite formidable. Uh, they should be easy resources for us. Enchanters Hollow, yeah, if we can win those, we can gain access to a lot of good troops. It's an interesting concept. Upgrading the city is totally out of your control. Ghost Red Dragon Grove. We need the uh, resources, so this is probably the easiest way to get some. Easy fight, you don't get massive amounts of resources, but you get enough. 2000 gold, a crystals here and there. Mercury, money. Okay, this is a large cache. 200 for sons. Enchanters, that's a quite a lot of enchanters, so we're going to. This army is going to get wiped out if 
be attacking with this spell selection. Ooh, a city! City! Yeah. Go for the city. through so what is coming our way lots lots pack several several you wait some um, we're fudged well we can get fairly close problem is uh, I'm not sure this is going to make all that much of a difference in a positive direction anyway so might as well get our backup time. Although I don't know if we can afford to lose that sound. Uh, I think it was just a hero. Otherwise, uh, otherwise I would have definitely had defenses there. Do anything yet. No point in staying then either though. Should I buy these? No, I probably should not. Yes yeah, shit, we're in a pretty bad situation. No defenses in the town or anything, so it's not much point. Gosh, we have to buy everything here. And then just go. Can't let the troops fall into enemy hands. We might lose the heroes we have, but small price, price to pay compared to just giving the enemy a huge amount of new troops. Mm. Okay. Guess we're moving back up. My troops you may die, but die bravely. This is a uh, proper reinforcement right here. Okay. Get the city, upgrade your troops, and okay, that's uh, want to get it over as soon as possible. Anything we can do to upgrade things? No. Berserk! Marshall, well, thanks for the upgrade, dude. Mm. 
why is he attacking? Why is he getting all moral boost? Shit, hate this. His speed is too big. 21, 18, 6, yeah, he's much better than I am. But he's uh, also a good caster with 4 small points. Berserk. Why don't you go Berserk right there? How much does it cost? I don't have all that many. Yeah, I could cast it once and that's it. So they're immune to blind too, which is nice. Escape without a doubt, but what point? It's very good at Ballista too. Much better hero than what I have. Much better Ballista. Much better everything in general. No, he'll escape, but I want to cause as much casualties as I can. Speed 9, speed 8, speed 7... Uh... Holy shit, we have a chance to kill it! Kill it! Yeah, if this one kills it, then he'll die. If not, then not. Not. Only two guys escape. Anyway, additional troops. We'll wait for the week to change. Mm. Need to get the extra troops. Because he'll naturally buy the hero and his own base and he'll be with extra troops there. And we're on day six anyway. Monastery, so what this time? Lots, several, 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 several. Lots, pack, pack, few, lots, several, few, hidden. Uh, ooh, well, this is lost. Oh, not necessarily. Well, well, the city is lost naturally, but we could try to do salvage some of the troops.
So we are going to get another army going at the same time when he's going to come up at us with another, another army. So we're basically holding our own, but that's it. Because every week we're doing a little bit better, I guess, because the town gets all upgraded. Still. Hmm. He might not attack, so this might be our only chance to push through. Our ten blue allies or enemies are packed, throwing several pack feet. So he's coming back with an even larger army. Uh, uh, fun, 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 fun. Um, we can't keep. Oh, can't get pikemen in your army. Um, yeah, go away. I need free space. They're not uh, friendlies. Excellent. They still have a fairly strong army going. Lord Chasim is definitely our main opponent at this moment. Nothing can stand against him. On the more positive side, we managed to significantly increase the army size here. We even have a spell book. <sighs> okay, let's see what we can do. We are going to have to split things a bit. There's no way we can fit everyone in the same army. We'll have a have to have a secondary army carrying the extra troops coming behind. The goal still should be the hill fort. And you're pro producing extra swordsmen at us. Uh. Okay. Mm, there really isn't much we can do, so we might as well just go. Now, now the bastard has enchantresses. <sighs> Fudging fudge. Mm, what are you gonna do? You mm, important decision here. Do we try to challenge him as a hero or probably not so we're gonna basically try to go into his city. If he's getting these troops he has to have upgrades points there or 
a Halo 4. Ooh, they're fighting each other. I can't see his troops at all. That good or bad, by the way, it's a good opportunity for us. Chain lighting, sorrow, forgetfulness, nine. Are you? We have no specialties. No. Yeah, moving on. Okay, zero. The, the city isn't all that great, so. Has to be another city somewhere. Let's move south. Yeah, blue just keeps spreading and spreading and spreading. Can you take Middleheim? Maybe. We have a uh, we have time. We need to move closer to their actual castle. See if we can take it this week. Several lots for several packs. Depending on the hero, this is going to go terribly, terribly wrong, or we're going to make a huge advantage. Three, 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 three. Fifteen, thirteen, nine, seven. So, so far, so good. Spell will affect no one. So, my spells are not going to be affecting anyone. That's that's lovely. Which one of you bastards is fast? You. Do something about these marksmen though. Fifty of them. Well, they're not all that dangerous. Controlling the catapult has one good uh, advantage. It moves first, always moves first, so you can so you can cast your spell. game. That's fine with me. That is absolutely perfect for me.
Okay, we need to start attacking on the angels. Ah, yeah, that won't affect anyone. This is a big, a pretty big victory for us. It's probably one of the better cities on this map, so... We traded a town for a capital city. Pendant of negativity, immunity to lightning spells. Uh, it's pretty much fully upgraded. Absolutely, massively good city. Perfect. Uh, let's see. We we still want to main this, maintain control of this area because of the unit production. Even the capital city can't compete with this. Yeah, and. Hartford is probably going to be a very good city in the long run. An additional town loss for Blue. He still has the best army by far, but that's not good enough. This is a uh, huge relief for me. A situation check. We're producing about 10,000 gold each day. Resources are pretty poor. Hmm. We probably will have uh, the best army in the. He on this map he, within a few days, so can I buy an additional hero from this now? Thank you. Might as well upgrade the few units she has. Point of view will be regain the mines. And he's not even coming our way, so there's no one immediately threatening us, maybe from here though, but our situation is very very strong at this moment, just need to secure this area a bit better. Yep. A lot, but a lot of fighting left to do, so... I think this is uh, good enough place to end. Mm, probably can't afford to pay or at least, yeah, no, not even close. But the initial struggling phase seems to be over. We might do a little bit of ping pong on a few of these cities, I mean trading back and forth. But as long as we keep our Bretonia castle and have Crack Hack there, I think we can defend things. He, he is a lot weaker than the enemy though, as a hero. And our goal wasn't exactly to deal with the enemy hero. So maybe we just 
should just try to find access to the underground areas to get the rest of the pieces, although... Was get the head. So... The superhero probably has it. I wonder what happens if... Uh, you destroy the faction without getting the item. Well, I'm sure I don't want to find out, so... Anyway, we'll wrap this up some other time. It still looks like a lot of fighting left to do. So it might take quite a bit of time before this is decided. Especially unless we can get someone with earth thematic specialty going that could do the defensive role a bit better. We don't even have a goddamn caster at this point. Only crack, hack, and he has no spell casting focus. Could there be an option? Cleric of some kind. Not much good without this spell though, so it's not like I can do it. Anyway, until next time.